Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your Cloudiest 9 NX dab of the day. Hello, everybody. Today is Friday. Have you been taking advantage of in life ever? You ever feel like, okay, I'll do this for you, I'll do this for you, and people just found out that you would do things and kept asking you to do things? Were you the person that always brought the pot to the party? Did you always pay for dinner? Well, maybe in life, there's a time where we say to each other, we're going to stop being taken advantage of. Well, I think it's important for us to achieve our goals. But the reality is that bosses, colleagues, friends, romantic partners often take advantage of other people. And it's not because they're mean or rotten. It's because with passing time, what happens is people become habitualized to certain situations. So sometimes people work hard and it becomes blind persistence. Sometimes people are in relationships and the emotions change over a long term. So what happens is if you want to find out how you can expand your own life and be taken advantage of less, there are some things you can do. Maybe you can balance it out a little bit. What you might want to do is communicate what you need to the others around you and stop assuming that they're going to magically think about what you want without you telling them your needs, your preferences, and things like that. If you've just been doing things all along and they're just letting you do them for them, you've never said, hold on a second, can you do something for me? Hoping your partner is going to notice that you need help with laundry after working a 12-hour shift might be make-believe. If you feel taken advantage of and want to help, and want help, maybe we should stop continuing to do the tasks and communicate our feelings to the other individual. Whether it's that, whether it's taking out the guard, anything that people do and do ritualistic, let's say, and then feel like they should have gotten help later on. Because otherwise, okay, it's going to blow up. And everyone around us will feel blindsided because they didn't fully understand what we were talking about. Be true to ourselves. I'm not saying we don't be true to ourselves, but you know what? Maybe some people like, won't like it that way, but it's worth losing a few things, a few people that maybe shouldn't be there along the way to gain better and authentic connections and experience our own value. Okay, so hold on a second here. We got to stop beating our own head against the wall about these things. Think about it. All right? If we work hard, stick to the task, always reach our goals, okay? But what if you're working hard, all that stuff, and you're not reaching your goals? Because you're not being appropriately rewarded. <laughs> oh, think about that, okay? So if you work hard and smart at your job, but you've not been promoted to the level you deserved, Maybe you got to get coaching so you can be better at it, okay? If you're working at something and rarely feel a reward, maybe take on a new task or a new aspect of the job. One of the things I always tried to do was push beyond where I was when I was working. What I mean by that is I had the three- to five-year plan. I wasn't the guy that had to ask because was, I was being the guy that was bothering them. Unfortunately, I had to claw my way where I was to get to where I went. Now, what I'm telling you is that just because you're good at something doesn't mean that's all you can or want to do. Think about it, okay? Some people are categorized into situations, and even at home, hey, you do that automatically, you do it really so well, and all, 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 you've always done it, but you get taken, taken granted of it. it it's habitual okay so what i'm saying is you want to try to tap in possibly to other facets of yourself yourself that bring you joy and self-esteem believe it or not the other individuals in your life will help you actualize your value remember they're happy with the arrangement already okay so 
maybe you conduct what's called a cost-benefit analysis every now and then. It's important to sit down in life, in your brain, and think about what you invest in your life, time, and what rewards you get in return, etc. Romantic, friendship, parenting, family, professional, school, creative, anything, sports, whatever categories are relevant to your life, okay? Because you know what? Once you do that, Consider how much energy, whether it's time, intelligence, money, physical, mental, emotional reserves, you put into each of those endeavors. Then consider what rewards you receive as a result of those efforts. Rewards can include work, money, promotions, love at home, care, emotionally reciprocal relationships with friends, anything like that. But do the rewards you receive match what you think is equitable or is it in line with the efforts that you're putting in in each one of those domains? Do you feel like you're you're under you're under rewarded at work, over rewarded at home, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Where's the combo? And it becomes something that you can actually tweak with. And believe it or not, you'll feel like you've got it. You'll feel like you're it's it's a shape. And you're in control of it. You're going to find ways. You will find ways. Because what you want to do is stop being taken advantage of. You don't even know you're being taken advantage of. But you are. So, work less towards being perfect. And more towards being inspired. What does that sound like? Huh? Think about you've always been working perfectly. You've always done everything conscientiously. You've always had the energy in vain. No, no, no. Things are going well. Okay. Everything's fine. However, five years from now, eight years from now, what do you think the future self is going to feel like? What do you think will inspire you for a longer visionary approach? I want you to know that when I had epiphanies, at sales seminars, they changed my life for the next 10 years. So think about your situations you're in, pull away from these situations and try to look at them and you will find out what it is are you being taken advantage of. If you are, here's how I would consider it. Ready? Minimize what you're being taken advantage of on. Maximize the knowledge that you have about those things and capitalize. Try to get yourself to a better position. That's all this is about. Let's enjoy our dab now as we remember. Let's not be taken advantage of so much in life. Not an aggressive statement at all. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion about it. As a matter of fact, if you did, please subscribe Join the family. This has been The Real Senior Stoner. Hit that like button. Send me your comments about anything. I respond to them all. I really enjoy comments. And thanks again for watching today's Dab of the Day. Have a great one, everybody. Get on the dab train. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching. Have a great day now. Don't be taken advantage of.